Hey, Alicia. Well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing this. I'm super excited. Thanks yeah. for thinking of us for this. Oh my goodness. We, we've we been imagining this day for a long time and it's, it's exciting that after a busy year yeah. that we've got a little bit of breathing room to, um, to hang out and yes. have a cup of coffee and some yes. water and <laughs> talk about wedding stuff. So It's always a good topic, isn't it? Yeah. You know, in, in a world where there's a lot of corporate stuff out there, yeah. the fact that you guys are just, you're a family, you know? It's, yes. You and your husband, Kevin. Yeah. And your, your mom and, yep, the, Ken and Ken Kathy. and Kathy. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, tell me a little bit about, like, how did this... <laughs> dream business start and, and how have you guys like navigated the challenges of, of building a successful business and being family at the same yeah. time? Well, um, to start, I think it's because we're all a little crazy, <laughs> 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 but it started just with a dream. Um, the timing just worked out really well. Um, at the time when we first started talking about this, I started working a little bit in the wedding industry. Um, it was never my plan. I was actually um, doing graphic design work at the time. I have a degree in creative advertising. That's right. um, so that was my first love, but I started doing weddings and it just fell into my lap. I never meant for this to happen. And I started doing more and more weddings. Doing. And so at this point you had the property. Yes. Or yes, Ken and Kathy had this property since, I think, 1989. She can uh, correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> on that. But I think it was 1989 when they built the, the home and the property. Um, How many acres are we looking at here? 50. Because you can't really see when you're sitting. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's a big, big, beautiful <laughs> ballroom, but 50 acres. 50 acres That's right. half of the 100-acre wood from uh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That's a lot. There's a lot of land here, and it's so widespread. Pretty much everything that you see outside is is ours yeah. so and you, and you pull up here I was, I was telling you earlier <laughs> that you know and, and, I was, and, I was and Richard and I were talking as we were rolling in mm -hmm. and I, I was like man I remember the first time I came here for an event some you know June or July you know one of those yeah. hot summer mm -hmm. days and it's probably three hours before the event and I was looking as I was pulling in I'm like a little intimidated like whoa <laughs> like intimidated like oh man this is gonna be no need to be a, intimidated well it's really nice you know <laughs> it's just so beautiful that's that's what I mean well, like intimidated you. and like almost like an awe inspiring wow. like like humbling kind of way like it's almost probably healthy for the soul I don't know <laughs> but now that I've done a couple weddings here mm -hmm. you know when Richard and I were rolling in uh, just you know an hour ago mm -hmm. um, I was like man it's just this wave of nostalgia and just good feelings remember in, Man, you guys have thrown some awesome parties here, and we've gotten to be a part of a couple of them. Yeah, you have. Probably half a dozen yeah, at this point. Yeah, quite a few now, yeah. I know. And th thank you for the chance just to... Absolutely. You, well, you guys are awesome. It's thank a, you. Yeah. <laughs> I pre you guys are amazing. And, and the, way you, the, the way you handle your part of the job as far as, like, you're, 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 you're the host with the most. <laughs> People show up, you welcome them, you make them feel good. Vendors, guests. The couple, well, I think that's everybody. the difference when you have a family-run business is that you're working with one of the owners. I'm here every wedding. I'm talking with all the clients, your guests. Like I, you are a guest in my home, basically. So I want to make everyone feel that way. Um, I think it's a little bit different when you work immediately with a family member that's also an owner versus you know There's someone that's there just to work. You know, it's a little bit different. Absolutely, and and sure, there are lots of people out there that you know take full ownership and, sure. of of the place they represent. Mm -hmm. But there's a, there is something to be said for when you got, this is your baby. This, this is, is you, my baby. This, this represents, you know, and, and you've represented it so well. And I'm, it's, I'm now hearing about your experience with advertising and, <laughs> and your, your studies early yeah. on. I can see, because, you know, you're, you're really good at kind of putting yourself in the other's shoes and, and dealing with people the way they, they want to be dealt yeah. with. So, I, you know, cheers. I, well, thank I, you. You and your family <laughs> business, it's awesome. It's, um, it's amazing. We're, we're all very, very lucky to have each other within this organization. Um, we try to do our best to kind of set those boundaries um, between like a family and business, you know, like sure. we're trying really not sit down at Thanksgiving dinner and be like, okay, so what's our annual report look like? You know, we don't want to do that. That's just for family time. When you're at the beach, you're at the beach. Exactly. When you're working, work. Yeah. You don't want to be working at the beach. You don't want to be at the beach while you're working, you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, and, that, and that's easier said than done though. Yeah. You know, and, it, you, know it's, you have to you have to really put an effort into that, someone, you know? And if probably a lot of this, like someone starts ta bringing something up and you're like, what do we say? Not, let's talk about <laughs> we'll talk that. talk about it tomorrow. After Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like, 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Just exactly. Real quick, real quick. No. Nope. <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> That's so funny. Yep. And I got a chance to meet Kevin when he just a little bit ago. Yeah. I've been hearing about him forever. And I know. I know. Seen you guys on Instagram and Facebook yep. and stuff. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's an amazing. Awesome guy. He really is amazing. And, and what is, what's what is his? I know he he helps out with a lot of the like. Kind of keeping things running and mm -hmm. what's a, what's a big part of his role in, in with the with the family um business? i'm gonna say emotional support <laughs> 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 no he is here on wedding days sometimes um he has the gift of gab um, he can make best friends with pretty much anybody that he ever encounters. So, so. PR, he's helping. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on the day of, he loves chit-chatting with all of the wedding guests. He will sometimes be either like in our parking area assisting with that, or I think he really likes to drive the golf carts. We have golf carts that come up from the parking area so to like, bring up the guests. what's the funnest thing that needs to be done right now on it? <laughs> yeah, honestly, the golf cart drive is like the best part. That would be part. me. Mm -hmm. If I was, I'd be like, yeah. I'll take yeah, <laughs> he has a good time, and everyone that arrives, they want to know the story. They want to know about the family. Who lives in that house? Like, how did this place begin? And he knows all of that information. That's so, cool. so, yeah, he really kind of likes to talk about it with everybody. That's awesome. Yeah. And and I know your your parents are always. I mean, they're, the cool thing is, like, you've got you've got a bunch of people that really really care, and and so you might have 200, 200 I mean, what's the maximum? Two hundred and fifty people can fit in here. And yeah, and, and it's it can be kind of, you know, it's a lot to manage, mm -hmm. and, you know, especially. When, but I, I love it takes how, the village. Yeah, and you yeah. But you have that. You have we a bunch of people that really really care. And, we do. And one of the this is just kind of an aside, like <laughs> you know, when you're when you're when you're DJing, a lot of times you think about acoustics and how you can sure. set up speakers and okay, where are things going to be? How can I daisy chain my system and have yeah. cover more ground and yeah. try to have like. And you, you have your ceremonies right out here yep. usually, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes down by the little uh, pergola as well? You know, we never have. It's a little bit of a hike to go down to that area. So, and the overlook here is just so gorgeous. You Makes really sense. can't beat it. And you still do get the pond in the background when you're sure. up here, so. So it's more of like, it's kind of like a decoration for the view. It's for the aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the aesthetic. Right. <laughs> so the ceremonies are here. Yes. And, then, and then you send them out to the cocktail hour which yeah. is over and it's in that greenhouse yeah. giant green like, yes really cool yes. Right up, like butted up against the forest mm -hmm. to the side there with the little green grass area yep. in between so yep. you set up those cocktail tables yeah and... we'll put cocktail tables in there we have um, a bar that can go out there as well but we have a sliding glass window at our indoor bar so they can serve right through that window it's so cool I think that's probably my favorite thing about the design of the building and I can't take credit for it that was all Kathy that was totally her idea so, so that that's that's the cool thing so you, they really built this place you know for the, like they, they were the architects of their dream literally like they yeah. I'm sure they probably hired some architects we did have out. an architect yeah, yes, yeah. which I think he was almost about to kill us at one point we made a lot of changes okay you're like <laughs> but we didn't want to go back you know in 5 10 20 years and yeah. think oh shoot I wish we would have done this you're you know, so we really wanted to over exasperate every single, every single thing about the building. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and imagining, okay, for function yes. as well as beauty. Yep. Yeah, the logistics of everything. We wanted it to be really easy for vendors to come in oh, and yeah, out. Oh, yeah, we roll and, right up here. I mean, and that makes such a big difference. Yeah. A lot of couples, I don't think maybe, well, of course they don't think about this. No, it's they're thinking a, about the fun stuff. But w when you have a place that's easy to load into, yeah. not only for your vendors, but for you yep. and for your family and friends, if they got, you can just pull right up. Yes. Two seconds, boom, you're in. Mm -hmm. You know, some venues they don't have that advantage. You know? Yeah. So it's an like there are venues in this area where it take it's an hour. It's a bit tough. It's an hour, and you're still like yeah. going up the last elevator. You're like, oh, elevators. Oh. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Or some of them just have stairs, I think, too. So I can't imagine trying to lug up all of that equipment that yeah. you guys have. So it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. But, nice and level too. And then we like it because like. We'll set up right behind you yeah. in that little alcove. Yeah. Have a couple, you know, our couple speakers on each side, mm -hmm. and then we'll daisy chain like you know a nice clean wire neatly and sweetly yep. right out the underneath the yes. barn door. You got a little power, boom, plug it yeah. in, and we're able to project across all that area yeah. that is the cocktail the hour space. The cocktail space, yeah. And so they can hear the same thing in here as you're hearing outside. Which I think is super cool. You, you need that like ambiance of the music um, to kind of set the tone for a cocktail hour. Yeah. If it's just silent and quiet, it's like, okay. You need a little something to kind of get the mood going. Yeah, and it's fun It's fun when you can have it all part of the same thing. So you know, yeah. they, they walk in here and, you know, it's kind of like when you're, you're, in, you're at Vegas and you're just walking down the street <laughs> or, you know, one of those really cool metropolitan. Sure. And, and it's like there's a song playing and it's like, 
played throughout the mm -hmm. almost the block. Yeah. That's, I always thought that was like, mm -hmm. whoa, man, imagine if downtown Detroit had something like that. Oh, that, oh there you, don't talk about that idea. You need to do it, and okay. then you can Ooh, <laughs> think on that. Talk to the, yeah, wow. <laughs> Ooh, that, you right? Never, you never Tell know. no one. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, how many years now have you been doing these? Uh, um, I mean, how, many, how many weddings have you done at this point here? Oh, my gosh, you know, I'd have to count. Maybe about 100, maybe 125. Over the course of? We opened in 2018. Right before yes. the pandemic. Yes. Or, or shortly before. Yeah. Yes, a couple years before, yes. So you got a chance to kind of get, get some momentum rolling, yep. which you definitely did. Mm -hmm. And then we slowed down. But, you know, if we can survive that, we can pretty much survive that's the anything. Way to, that's the way to yeah. think about it. Yeah. Just get, like, hey, because not everybody, not, not, I mean, sadly to say, a lot of companies didn't. So right, and that is very sad. If you were able to do that, it's, yeah. you know, it's... It's definitely encouraging for what future challenges mm -hmm. might come, you know? Can't get much worse than that. <laughs> for sure. So rock on. Yeah. yeah that's right. That's right. And what would you say is like the, the, if you were to talk to yourself as a businesswoman, mm -hmm. you know, back in 2018, <laughs> uh, and we're not talking about insider stock trade or anything, but like, <laughs> but like what, what advice would you give yourself? Like so if you could give yourself one simple piece of advice that you think would make things easier or... Well, what have you learned um, along the way? Goodness, let's see. I think, and this might sound a little mean even speaking to myself, but um, your opinion isn't necessarily the most important opinion. I think that we, or I myself struggled a bit when we were opening the venue that I wanted it to be my style and the way that I liked things to look and the advertising in a style that fit myself and my brand, but I had to come to the understanding that I'm not our target market. I'm not a 20-something year old person who is engaged in planning a wedding, so I had to kind of step back and think, okay, what I think isn't necessarily important, but what will my clients um, value? Um, whether that is like the aesthetic of the building or how our packages are put together or pricing or whatever it might be. Like my opinion doesn't necessarily matter. What does my client need? lowering that friction and just making it easy for yeah. the people you're trying to work with. Yeah, and taking it a little bit less personal. I think when you started something from the bottom up, it's a very, like, it's it's very, very close to my heart. So I yeah. think that I, like, want to have my fingers in every and everything little thing. everything matters so yes. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But and be, when you're working with, especially a team of people you love who have their own, yeah. and then looking at the research and the data, and, and, yeah. and it's kind of, it's humbling, kind of yeah. saying, you know what? We, that's, and that's, that's probably huge advice, you know? And, and being able to go through that without it, like, some, you know, sometimes you have an idea you just want it to go through, yeah. you know? And, and you're like, finally you realize, ah, it might be, we might have to go this other route. Right. And just saying, well, that's okay. Right. There'll be other ideas yes, there and will. opportunities to yes, there will. do all kinds of cool yep. stuff. But and I think working closer, you know, when we first started this business, I didn't have quite as many um, vendors that I was as close with because I was just sort of starting out but sure. now we I think have a really awesome group of vendors that we um, primarily work with a Definitely. lot of the time so yeah. we're able to kind of bounce each other's um, or bounce ideas off of each other and kind of talk about what the market's looking like and what couples are wanting what the trends are looking like so we can all kind of team up better on that yeah. sort of thing and all that all does is gives the couples what they right. want more which is that's what we all want that's what we're here for yep. you know <laughs> M make their wedding what they exactly have been looking forward to exactly. since they were little kids or you know exactly. some, some people you yeah know? i know some client um some clients will ask me questions about you know what's my opinion and of course i will give it to them but i'll always say this is your wedding i can tell you all day long what i think your wedding should be but at the end of the day this is your big day not mine not yeah. your bridesmaids or your mom's this is you and your fiance that is your big day absolutely we tell mm -hmm. them kind of the same thing it's like hey we're, consider us your consultants but you're, yes. you're the boss we're yes, working, we're working exactly. for you i'll do what you need me yeah. to do to make this all happen for we'll you we'll give you some different ideas of what to expect yep. based on the different choices that you have available mm -hmm. to you we'll help you understand that yeah but at the end of the day you tell us how to go and yep. we're like i i captain you yes. know <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> For better or for worse. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, within, within reason. <laughs> you know. um, but yeah, it's fun. And it's been fun being one of the vendors that has got lucky enough to kind of get to know you and, and, and hang out with you guys. Richard and me, whenever we come back from a wedding here, 
we just have so many stories and the oh rest of the team like oh my goodness you know? well you guys are so fun it makes it easy well you, you attract <laughs> a good clientele like we really do i don't know how we get so lucky oh uh, sorry guys <laughs> just, uh, bloopers <laughs> yeah no i think we probably have to keep it oh it's a, it's a, a client is but, it and, well, it's, uh, i don't want to give her a call that's the one yeah, the, the one that I wanted to... <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead and give, if you want to give her a call, feel free. Yeah. That's so funny. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and I guess that's the other thing about, you know, you have to really love this because you're, you're always kind of connected to yes. your business. And yes. Especially when you're dealing with the public and not only dealing with the public, but you're dealing with a very particular client. Yes. A client that wants everything to be perfect. Yes. That you only get one shot at. Yes. In. You can't redo it again. If something doesn't yeah. go right, you have one shot to make that all happen, and there's no redos. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, right? <laughs> yes, Am I right? Exactly. Marshall, <laughs> you know? Cheers to Detroit. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank, yeah, that was my inspiration in sixth grade. Are you yes. kidding? When that stuff was coming out, That's I knew so every funny. word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me, and my, <laughs> me and my, I don't know, how old are you in, in sixth grade? What are you like? Uh, 11. Me and my 11 year old buddy 11, just 12? like, Competing over who could like mm -hmm. who knew all the lyrics more. And stuff. It's fast. And, yeah, it's. I feel you, like you could kind of fake your way through most of that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just make the same sound. Right. The human ear can't quite. No. Follow <laughs> that. <laughs> so yeah. So what what is the the story of of how this? And I'm just gonna. Listen. Okay. So <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking. Um, so it really all started on a conversation on the front porch of Ken and Kathy's home, um, right here on the property. And at the time they became empty nesters. Their uh, youngest son moved out of their home. And at the same time, I was starting to work a bit more in the wedding industry. Um, so the timing just really lined up very well. And she came to me and said, we have this gorgeous home, all of this land. We have this building, thank you, um, on the property that this used to be Ken's horse barn. This was a very um, unattractive horse barn. There was aluminum siding, concrete in some of it, but not all of it, but there was 30 years worth of um, tractors, farming equipment, um, tools, horses, pigs, goats, chickens, all of these things were in this space. And she said, you know, what do you think of having weddings in the barn? And I'm like, looking at this thing i'm like i don't i don't know about that that's kind of a, a long stretch i think that's um we'd have to put a lot of lipstick on that pig to make it all work <laughs> um and she really had this vision for it whereas i was a little more i think um questioning like whether or not it could really work out so she something about my mother-in-law is that when she gets an idea in her head she runs with it and she does not look back um, and it's one of the things that i really admire about her and her business savvy so that next week she called an architect and we had an appointment and we never went back. So uh, full speed ahead. Pretty much, yeah. So now we are you know into our what fifth wedding season. Um, so <laughs> we just went for it. And, and it and then from there you kinda like the other obviously other adventures that you were on, you kinda took a back seat yeah. and you kinda all Yep. You yeah. know, went for this common goal. We did. They owned a hardware store for many, many years and um, they ended up sell, sold, they sold their hardware store. And that's when we started really opening this up. And I stepped away from graphic design. I still do it a little bit here and there, but for this the, is for, my- You probably do some for the business too, right? I yeah. do, yeah. So this is my main thing and we haven't um, looked back since. I have a very rewarding, a little bit stressful, but very rewarding job and I wouldn't yeah. have it any other way. And I'm, I'm sure for, for them, you know, as, as much fun as running a hardware store, <laughs> I imagine must be, I, it's a little different. Just looking at, I can tell they're having a lot more fun doing this. <laughs> yeah, well, they like to say that they're retired, but I know better than that. They work their butts off in here, and they could run circles around me, I swear. So, so being retired for them just means working really hard on something different. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and I think it doesn't feel like work to them. You know, it's yeah. it's exciting. You know, Kathy Absolutely. loves meeting with the clients it's and fulfilling. doing all of that stuff. I mean, yes, and Ken's a tinker. He can be found running around in muck boots and a tool belt around his waist. <laughs> that's cool. I, I really like him. I, I like your whole family. He's really cool. Me too. And, and, and that's really fun to hear that <laughs> the story kind of told so succinct. You know, like it's and you look around and you, you could. It's hard to imagine the transformation, but you. Oh my gosh! You know, it looks yeah, very saying. very different. So those three beams over here, which we'll show you guys later, were our horse stalls um, at the time, 
and this was all a lean-to and our horse pasture was out where the ceremony location is so it was very bare bones so we yeah. completely gutted the place they added drywall insulation lighting electric all these things so and the yeah. ch chandeliers are they're very cool oh we love the chandeliers they're um the company that we order them from is based out of south africa and oh. it's, it's they're all leather and they're all dimmable too Isn't so when you right? guys have your party lights going we want to bring that down nice and moody so sure. that people feel like they can start dancing a little bit um and i feel like when you're um, when the lighting is a little bit lower, people feel like they are less likely to be seen and more likely to get up and go dance. No doubt. A little boost of self-confidence there. No you doubt. Know? <laughs> yeah, and, and it just makes it a little more intimate. Yeah. When, 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 it, mm -hmm. when it's a little dim, it's a little more, more romantic. Yeah. yeah. All, all the all the all the good feelings yeah. for when you're you're having a wedding. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask it. What what's been the experience that you've had with us that's made you? be so kind as to refer us to, you know, your couples at this point. I think honestly, the level of energy that you guys have is amazing. You have this capability to really connect with your, um, your guests and everyone on the dance floor. You're not just like standing up there playing music. You're really interacting and entertaining with them. You're putting on a show. You're not just playing music. Um, I've seen both you and Richard step onto the dance floor, dance with your guests, <laughs> hand them a microphone if they really want to. Yes! <laughs> and I think that really brings out a different sense of energy with the wedding guests and feel like they're really part of the process um, and that you're there to help them celebrate their wedding day. Well, thank you. That's, that's very sweet <laughs> for you to say. And that's, I guess that's, yeah, thanks so much. Of I guess course, we're doing something, thank you. We, we, when we don't get a chance to see, uh, we're, we're busy every weekend DJing, so yeah. we don't get to see what, 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 what other people are doing, but we just know what we do, you know? Yeah, and, well, you do it very, very well. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, thanks so much again, and uh, I guess thank you. we'll uh, move on to our little, uh, okay. but yeah, thanks for talking with thank me. Thank you so much. This is so fun. Sweet. <laughs>